Right. Here we are, all warmed up and almost ready to go and annihilate what evil lurks be behind these. Walls, tunnels, whatever they may be called. And since it was said that there would be undead, we have now prepared. Let's put up the candlelight spell just as well. And we should be ready to roll, huh, Half. Best not dawdle. Nothing, there's nothing there to be gained by not doing the duty we have come here for. Ah, oh dear. These don't look too good, do they? I am not here to rob the place blind per se, but anything that's here could be used by the necromancer. So it's better if it's not there. A chest. For the winches in the taverns. I like talking to myself when I go off. It helps me keep my mind on the subject. A lever. Well, guess that worked. An ancient arming sword and a chest. Nothing too odd there. Oh dear, more of these. They sure got a lot of money on them though. Why? Hmm. So over here we have a way down and over on the other side we should have a way down indeed. Let's refresh that as we go. This is... Huh. So that does something. Wonder what? But since the light is the same as what Meridia gave us up there... Now let's... Now while I do realize that I am actually working for Daedric Prince, let us also take into account the fact that I am destroying undead which is in the common interest of the actually good guards. So it cannot be said that I'd be a Daedra worshipper. Since if it was not in the interest of the good guards... What's over there? Better take the... Initiative. Corrupted ah. shades are too powerful for the might of the Red Eagle, it says. Well, then I won't mind if this blade runs out of charge, do I? It's a shame. I specifically brought it brought this here to be useful and then it refuses does it do anything yeah it doesn't even set them on fire well it's still a more powerful weapon so I guess I'll keep it 
And I need to take a meal break. Yeah, that took care of it. This is something alright. That we cannot open. What about this side door over here? Just as locked. Then if we touch the pedestal... Yup, it's open now. I wonder where this leads. Possibly forwards. No, it leads to a dead end. So we must go to the other path. Yes, so it would seem. A third time to block there. These actually are not too powerful for it. Funny. There must be multiple strengths of them. Well, I won't mind if I can actually harm some of them. Did I know Soul Trap? No, I didn't. So I'll have to use what gems I have loaded with me. So a greater gem, a lesser gem and a fair share of petty gems. Yes, I should be able to handle it. So next is... Next the path goes downwards. Potion of stamina. Ah dear. That doesn't look too comfortable. Truly desecrated. What do we have here? Don't see any traps on it, so... Ah, now this might be interesting. And this goes on. Weapon recharge. Yes, train of charges. Recharge it. Yeah, yeah. So let's see just how much does it eat. So charging. Even petty gems put quite a bit of power into it, so I'm I'm happy with this. I can work with this. So let's see here. Earns. No student particular carry anything. That is locked. Then I think I hear something over here. Ah, there you are. Too late to run. Now that's more like it. Although it seems that they are set on fire even if they are too powerful, which is deceiving. It's hard to tell whether it's worth powering this weapon up. But I don't have much other uses for my gems, so why not? Hmm, do I have any use for this enchanter here? I'm not carrying anything I would particularly like to destroy, so no. 
Do I want any enchantments on my things? That's the question then, isn't it? I could... Uh, none of those is particularly important. How about this one? No, 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 no. This one? So, I could get more stamina. How about this? Hmm, could add some damage on it. Extra damage targets wearing armor. Sure, why not? Why not? Many do just that. And this is... The damage of poison. And this is more body parts from animals. Let's see if we were to add piercing to this. With a greater soul gem. We would get a fair share of charges. So it's 54 versus say 69 for just dropping 3 points of damage. And it's not like it's going to be a permanent one. We are eventually changing these weapons and... Yes, sure. This will be the... <laughs> Elf Piazza. Yeah, sure, why not? That's what it's going to be called now. And we have it ready to go. Why Elf Piazza, some of you ask? Do I hate the Aldmeri Dominion? Am I objecting to the way of banning worship? Both of those would be yes. And thus, the weapon was called Elf Piazza since it pierces things. I am not very good at names, and you can expect things to continue as such. But let's see if we cannot make our way forward now. The next door has opened and we have yet another corpse. That we will need to try and make a little bit less desecrated. We are outside. The light says to go this way, so this way we shall go. And there been another light source out there. We might have been able to see the sights from such an open location, but right now there was only darkness. Empire Somewhat of a shame, Empire. I'll have to admit. Fight for this side. Hmm, I hear the noise, but I don't... Ah, there you are! <laughs> Apparently they are too powerful for my blade's enchantment. So I should probably not waste any more soul gems on it. As unfortunate as it is. That is stuck. Well, can't win them all. The door here should have opened, and it indeed did. It does lead us forward, does it not? It 
Windy Dust. Nice one, Hoff. Nice one. Did it have anything? No, it didn't have anything particularly useful. That one was empty, that one's empty, and this one has something in it. Ten coins, well, if I go through the trouble of opening it, might as well. Then over here they've stored primitive boots, no, that's not what I'm after. Poison, don't really carry those around now, do I? And then, ah dear, what happened to that person's face? That's a trap if I've ever seen one. So, oh, this is a tricky treasure. None of those. What about the next milestone? No. Following milestone. It's somewhere around here. It's that one. I'm getting good at this. So, here we have iron boots, potion of true shot. Don't mind if I do. Potion of stamina. You would be a strong box. With content somewhat equal to burial urn. In this chest we have... Well, I'm going to take this one just to keep it out of other people's hands. Can never trust another adventurer with things like that. They might end up using them. And you never know if they've got quite as good morals as you do. I think I know what this does. I didn't quite know what it did, but I spared myself from it, so all is good. What's this then? Nothing? Sure looks like nothing. I used to be an adventurer like you, and I took some guy's knee and used it for an arrow. Well, you are an adventurer like me now, although on my payroll. Why would you use someone's knee as an arrow anyhow? Makes little sense to me. Nothing here, not too surprising. And here we have another one of the faithful dead. A potion, a book. Battle of Red Mountain and Rise and Fall of the Tribunal. Uh, I read that one, one day in the past. But right now I could pay more attention to the things that talk to me. Yes. Big healy potions. Good, good. Some gold. Need to make my way over there, do I? Up. There we go. And up. There we go. Now, just to be clear, this doesn't take me anywhere particularly useful, does it? It does not. Now then... I hear noises from there, but since I cannot seem to get to them, I'm assuming they are coming from here. Hello? My assumption did not seem to be totally wrong. Yep, that's them down. And that was the second one down. 
And if there's any shooter left out here, doesn't sound like it. And here we have another one that we need to remember. Right, half. Let's see where we'll find our way next. Good. Not so good. Good. Right, those things are now in order. Here we have... Oh... Well, time to be heading down, I guess. Wouldn't want to jump. But before we go... Here. Now then. We did see a shadowy figure down there. But we haven't yet been on the other side of this place, so let's check that out, shall we? Solution of strength. On a suspicious looking pedestal. Would not have wanted to take those spikes into my face. Luckily I've seen this pedestal thing before. Otherwise that could have ended badly. Alright, this is a height I can presumably drop down from. And I could. And it was over here that I saw the shade. Diamond blocks. They are good. An essential skill at surviving here, I think. Now where would this take me? To the catacombs. I wonder what we face down here then. More of the same. Some damnably transcendent terror. Looks like more of the same, at least thus far. The door opens. What's here? Potion of healing. Burial urns. A chest. Mm, ring mail boots. Light armor. No, not really what I'm looking for. Potion of magicka. Right. What? Is it down there? Smells damp and dingy. A hall. I don't think it, there's anything good going to come out of going in there. So let's see what we can take. This looks fairly important. So we technically could go in with invisibility and put up... Hmm... We could see just how a fireball... ...would fare. I'm out of fireballs. Then what else would there be? The mass paralysis. 
Mayhem, Guardian Circle. Oh, this is both my hands. Whoa, what, what, what? Powerful frost magic. So, let's see. Any resist magic things here? Potion of resist magic not available. Resist gold, ice radiance. Let's go with the ice rate essence. And my cloak was. Resist frost is 15%, resist magic is 10%. Hard to say what would be worth it. And there's the Malkoran. If we could, we could try putting up the Guardian Circle. So let's actually make the fair attempt. Alright, this is a good spot for me and Hop, I think. Alright, Malkoran. That hurts a bit too much. Let's tr let's see if I cannot stop this. Plentiful healing. Minor healing. And while I do not enjoy using such things, perhaps it's for the best to throw the paralysis poison out against the necromancer. I'm out of stamina. Add stamina. Oh dear, they are healing. Ah, this hits hurt. And they are just too much. We'll need to set up an alternative strategy. Malkoran clearly cannot be defeated like that. So it's possibly for the best to... First of all, the, situ the, pl the place for the Guardian Circle needs to be better. Then... Hmm. Let's see... How this one would work. Malkoran is immune to piercing. Well, that's oh. not something I wanted to hear. Right. You hit like a and now we must destroy Malakora. Stop beating down on Hoth. All right, I think this is the spot where we put the Guardian Circle. Nope, I'm not taking all those spells to my back. That just won't do. Right, corrupted shades are taken care of. The guardian circle stands here and Melkoran stands there. We need to be able to get through to him and if he does those Spells continuously, that's not going to work too easily. But if he comes to us first, 
Oh, oh. That wasn't what we were aiming for. I don't think I can go into that room right now. Yeah, it really looks like I cannot go to the room. This is difficult with the amount of frost he has at his, at his disposal, especially fast moving frost. We can take care of his goons, alright, but if it's o only the goons... Right, so here might be a good spot to toss in a few fireballs. Poor well, Hop is taking a real beating down there. And now I am eating ice spikes, which is never okay. Swing at me! My shield shall take it. Right. So that's that done. I see you. Am I dead yet? Yep, I, I am fully dead. I need to charge them as soon as they approach or try and shout at them. This is going to be a difficult one. I can feel it. A test placed before me by Stendhal themselves. So... Elixir of Resist Gold. Ah, and perhaps I can combine this with an arrow. Perhaps, perhaps. Attempts can always be made. But let's see here. Hello? There. The shades are bundling up on the door, so let's get the fireballs out. Those frost spells hit me all the way over here. Ow, 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 no, no, no. Alright, I do believe I have a spell ward. That I just maybe can use to move to the side. Yes, yes, I had that one. Now then, am I re ready to go out again? I think yes. Malco runs down. Malco runs down. What? What? What just rose up from there? I'm not liking this. I'm not liking this at all. Nope. Alright, I've made it this far. I should be able to make it a bit further. Spellboard, spellboard. Potions, potions. Alright, 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 alright. Now it's slinging fire. So, potion of resist fire. And potion of actual healing. And 
a few potions of magicka. Right? Oh! It's made its way over there. I missed and now I'm not ready to protect myself unless I do some real quick moves here. Am I out of minor healing potions? No, I'm not. Alright, the spell void actually did it. It is done. The Defiler is defeated. Take Dawnbreaker from its pedestal. Dragon Sting Blade. <laughs> now this is a nice weapon actually. Oh. Now then. Since there no longer is the threat of an attack. That was a fight, all right. Luckily, by the time he moved to this second phase, I could focus my strategy on the second phase alone. There we go. Before I take anything else, I should make sure that the corpses in this room are okay. Since that is the chief thing we came here for. These poor desecrated people. Those like who fought in the war only to become warriors for necromancer in theirs. Not what they sought. Second thought. Luckily enough, they are now relieved of that. that. Horrendous duty. Was that I go way back? Hmm. Let me do Money is weighing me down. I had not yeah, yeah. On second, uh, thought that, that would so. happen, but Hoth, could you carry some you things for me? For? Let's see here. Yes, that linen wrap if you would. And let's see, do I have anything else I might want to hand over to you? Mm, yes, could you carry the briar hearts? Fire salts and my ale for me. All Thank right. you. So you, yep, I've made sure that you have received the proper rights. And then you, yep. Done through this as well. You I've missed. Here you go. And to you. Yep, you may have it. Potion of Magica, sure, why not? Yep, that was a no brainer. And to you. There you go. Think that's going to be about it. The Dawnbreaker has been retrieved and I I am paralyzed. Well, hello again, Flow this fear ball. Malkarin is vanquished. Skyrim's dead shall remain at rest. This is as it should be. This is because of you. <clears throat> A new day is dawning, and you shall be its herald. Take the mighty Dawnbreaker, and with it purge corruption from the dark corners of the world. <laughs> 
I might use it in my name that my influence may grow. Just so you know, I may keep the sword, but your religion shall not be his spread by my tongue and my heart. It matters not. The plant cares nothing for the rays that bring it the warmth of the sun. As you carry on, Raker, so will my light touch the world. Well, that's good that you are so understanding. I'm falling again, am I not? Not dead. Which is good. Carrying too much, which is not good. So let's see here. 36. Whereas... Holy balloon, eh? this is a powerful weapon. And since this is more powerful than Skyforge Steel when I won't be needing it. But... There we go. I will be only be wielding Dawnbreaker when there's undead to slay, I think. And then it's about time... I shut this aura effect down. So, horse, let's see what you can take care of for, take care of for me. This one and this one. And yeah, that's already playing quite a burden off my shoulders. But let's see. These things. Anything else? Not really, no. Well, that's that then. Should be off to solitude before I freeze out here. And so that I can sleep. It's more than late enough to be looking for a warm bed. <laughs>